this a joke or what? <laughs> is it really a joke? The Supreme Leader of Afghanistan's Taliban-run government, Ibatsula Hagudaza, has invited domestic and foreign companies to invest in the country. Hagudaza also called upon Afghans to get together and rebuild their war torn country. He made the remarks in his message on accounts of Idi Fitri, marking the end of Muslim fasting month Ramadan. The Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan attaches great importance to reconstruction of the country, for which it has assigned a competent economic committee to utilize all existing capacities towards the development of the country, he said in his message released by the state-run news agency BATA on Friday. Mr. Akudaza, Akudzada also described Afghanistan as the common home of all Afghans and urged those who left the country to return home. The Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan wants positive relations with the countries of the region and the world. He added, we allow none to pose a threat to other countries from Afghanistan and we also want other countries to engage with us on mutual respect. The Supreme Leader expressed his resolve to ban poppy cultivation and drug producing in his country. He explained that his administration would address the problems of farmers and the fellow citizens in general by providing alternative live livelihoods. Mr. Akudaza also called international health organizations and aid institutions to help the people of Afghanistan in the health sector, which is facing a shortage of medicines, professional staff, and medical equipment. He also highlighted education as the key to rescue our compatriots and pave the way towards country development and prosperity. The Islamic Emirates of Afghanistan is working to strengthen education and learning, opening new schools and madrasas, religious schools in many central and remote areas of the country for religious and modern education. We are also providing a safe environment for education, said the Taliban Supreme Leader. <laughs> Who is going to be coming there? I don't forget that recently Buhari gave them a gift of, I say, one billion naira or so. So, of course, calling Nigeria is not a, it's not a, it's not out of place for them because there's that cordial relationship between them. And that was when As I asked who came out that Asu has been crying over on pay the remunerations and you just went out with dashing money out. That's what these guys do. Huh. Which country will want to go to Afghanistan? Well, so go and do what? Mm -hmm. Go and invest there. Are they tired with all of this their bottlenecks policy here and there? They are getting to realize that uh, running a country is a different ball game altogether. You thought uh, running a country is by carrying guns and blowing bomb up everywhere. You don't know that most of the previous Afghanistan government survived based on the life support they got from foreign governments, especially the United States of America. Your Islamic brother have already destroyed Nigeria economy and killed most of the businesses those still standing are barely surviving. Buhari should relocate his farm to Afghanistan, having given them an advance payment of a $1 million. Hmm. Buhari would love it, just love it. His wet dream, Nigeria and Afghanistan together, matching to their death in abject poverty. Next, the Buhari administration will build a refinery there and ship Nigeria crude oil there to be refined and shipped back to the country as a way of helping his brothers, the Taliban, build their economy. Afghanistan that runs policies of religious extremism. It is only their lives that we listen to them. We gave them $1 million from what we borrowed. Best of same feathers, they say flock together. When you run a government as a religion, the trajectory leads to failure. I read earlier in the reports, Afghanistan got $1 million from Nigeria as grants. Not true. 
You get why I the ass. <laughs> why you the ass? <laughs> okay, oh, oh, let let toba ti wano eko o tuja de mo. Hmm. Oh, let let toba wano eko o tuja de mo. E yi ti wano Afghanistan. O tuja de mo. Oh, oh let let. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it has been seen. It did, has been seen. So, it's not going to come out. You want to know. You get why you ask. Why you want to ask. Oh my god, this particular person is really funny. Hmm. Ring Buhari, Pantami, and Malami to bring in their private funds. You think they're going to do that? It's the Nigerian funds that they want to use to do that. Uh, Buhari and conspirators are on their way to invest with stolen funds. What type of investment? Bomb making or arts of terrorism? This is a simple signal that Nigeria and Afghanistan Kabas have the same lineage, of course, and their politicians are working relentlessly. Relent Lessness, or relentlessly to achieve their desired goals, no matter what it would cost them. Ameti should do should build rail to railway to Afghanistan. Buhari next agenda will be on this. So far, he has the rubber stamp Senate head without objections. Expect any impossibility in Buhari government. We we'll invest. Okay. Uh, if I talk, they say it is a, a speech. Mm. Buarig, we oblige them now, now, now. So, so that uh, they will have access to export more series to our domain. Let them allow us to be. Buari already donated $1 million without approval of the National Assembly. That should help them rebuild their economy. It was not a loan. It was a giveaway. Humanitarian gesture and they should issue visa free to their darling putin supporters okay mm. okay that one eh <laughs> you don't go easy oh it will never be easy well i admire the courage of the arab so much the west don't dictate to them the uh freedom fighters you know <laughs> freedom fighters compelling people why are your arab brethren not helping afghanistan out with which money Nigeria is still struggling. They should go and meet all monies. Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Dubai, and the rest. Uh, thank Allah, Buhari can invest his own cow there. After all, he gave a hard end $1 million to them. People like Pansami should invest there. They are bears of the same feathers. It's better to invest in their worst economic nation than to invest in the war feed. Why will the Taliban look for Nigeria to go and invest they of all the countries of the world there must be something going on which is known not known to us so guys after we see amo what do you think let's know your your in the comment section